month's Naval News Video Report is sponsored by DSA 2020. Defense Services Asia Exhibition and Conference will take place from the 20th to the 23rd of April 2020 at Malaysia International Trade and Exhibition Center in Kuala Lumpur. class littoral combat ship USS Gabrielle Giffords successfully demonstrated the capabilities of the naval strike missile October 1st. The event marked the first time an integrated NSM system was launched from the U.S. Navy LCS. The NSM, known as the RGM-184A in the U.S. Navy, is a long-range precision strike weapon that can find and destroy enemy ships at distances up to 100 nautical miles away. The stealthy missile flies at sea-skimming altitude, has terrain-falling capability, and uses an advanced seeker for precise targeting in challenging conditions. French shipyard Osea announced the successful start of sea trials for the Philippine Coast Guard's OPV-270 offshore patrol vessel. These preliminary sea trials of the Osea OPV-270 demonstrated the general good behavior of the vessel. This OPV-270 was launched on July 17, 2019. It is the largest aluminum OPV built in the world. UK F-35 Lightning jets started operating and training onboard Britain's next-generation aircraft carrier, HMS Queen Elizabeth, for the first time. Flown by Royal Navy and Royal Air Force pilots, the Lightning jets are embarking in the 65,000-ton carrier to conduct operational trials off the east coast of the USA. These trials are aimed at end-to-end -end testing of the aircraft and personnel to ensure the aircraft is compatible with the carrier. The tests involve mission planning, arming the aircraft using the ship's highly automated weapon handling system, flying missions, and debriefing on completion. The steel-cutting ceremony of the first FDI Defense and Intervention Frigate for the French Navy took place at the Naval Group shipyard in Lorient on October 24th. The first FDI named Amiral Ronard will be delivered to the French Navy in late 2023. The second one, Amiral Luzo, is set for delivery before the end of 2025. The last three FDIs are due to be delivered before 2030. The FDI features an inverted bow design with a length of 122 meters and a displacement of 4,250 tons. The FDI's original design features considered a fast pace of change in information technology and the ongoing need for technical upgrades. It is also the first frigate to include architectural and systems to counter next-generation threats, such as cyber and asymmetrical warfare. USS Gerald R. Ford got underway for sea trials from Huntington Ingalls Industries' Newport News shipbuilding following a 15-month pierside maintenance period. While at sea off the Virginia coast, the crew, in cooperation with engineers and shipyard employees, will run through a comprehensive sequence of evolutions to test and validate systems maintained or modified during the extended maintenance period, known as a post-shakedown availability. Sea trials are the culminating event prior to the CVN-78's ship returning to the Naval Station in Norfolk, Virginia.
The ship will then enter a post-delivery test and trials period to certify the fuel systems, conduct aircraft compatibility testing, certify the flight deck, and test the combat systems installed aboard the ship.